my name is Katie Faye. I'm on Weight Watchers, and these are some of my favorite fast food meals that have helped me lose over 20 plus pounds. Life is hard sometimes. Look, it's just me and my husband, and I work from home, and we still have days where it's just easier to eat out than it is to cook, or neither one of us are feeling cooking, or nothing we bought from the grocery store sounds good. So I can't imagine if you have more mouths in your house to feed or more challenging circumstances than we do. I can only imagine how hard it is to cook from home and do exactly the right thing every single day. It's just not practical. So if you're in a pinch, these are some of my favorites that have worked for me. The first restaurant we are going to talk about is Chipotle. It's one of my favorites. We eat it often. They just opened a new Chipotle down the street from us and it has a drive through So you order on your phone and then you just pick it up and you never have to get out of your car. And uh, it's gonna be dangerous, let me tell ya. But it doesn't have to be dangerous because it fits within my points actually pretty easily. So there's two meals that I alternate between at Chipotle. The first is tacos, which we'll get to later. Uh, but then the second one is the build your own kids meal. Um, if you've never had a kids meal at Chipotle, it has three different sections. You choose which goes in those three. And then um, you do the taco one that comes with two taco tortillas. And then you can get a fruit or you can get kids chips and guac. Um, as well, I always get the fruit because my husband and I share chips and guac, so I don't need to repeat um, that like part of the meal, plus the kids' meal ch chips are still a little high in points, so it's cheaper to eat a quarter of my husband's chips than it is to eat um, the, the small kids' portion size. So, um, with that, I always get steak, fajita veggies, and cheese as my three toppings. Um, the tacos for two of their tortillas is five points. The steak is two points. Fajita vegetables are zero. And the Monterey, Monterey Jack cheese is four points. Um, so that is a total of 11 points for just the kids meal with the cutie, not adding any chips and guac on the side. The last time I ate this, um, I'm looking at it here. I also had a quarter of my husband's chips and a third of the guacamole. So a quarter of the chipotle tortilla chips is four points and then the, a third of the guacamole is two which made my dinner total that night 17 points um, for chipotle. So I really like this one because it's portioned out if I'm not super hungry it's a great um, dinner option and it's super flexible. So uh, another thing I have done in the past is swap out, once I got the Chipotle home, is swap out the flour tortillas for the net zero carb tortillas, which are only one point a piece, and that saves you three points. So if you're really low on points but you really want Chipotle, this is a great option. Now for the tacos, I have to scroll all the way back to two hours ago, because that's what we had for lunch today. Um... Let me get back to today. Okay. So for the tacos at Chipotle, I always just get steak, cheese, and fajita vegetables. Are you sensing a pattern here? I like what I like from Chipotle. I have a usual order. I don't think that's that uncommon. Um, sometimes I don't get the fajita vegetables. Today I didn't. Um, we had a lot of vegetables last night, and I've been a little bloated from it. So I cut back on the veggies today to kind of help with the tummy issues. So um, I had... Uh, steak was three points if you get the tacos, so it's only one point more for the adult taco version than it is for the kids. So that should tell you like how much less is really in the kids. It's not that much less. Um, three tortillas from Chipotle is seven points. The cheese is four points for adults, so same, same uh, portion size. And then the chips I had with my husband, I actually only ate like four chips today. Um, and that was two points and I used uh, some salsa, which was zero points. So um, lunch today was 16 points for Chipotle. But again, this isn't always it. Sometimes you can lighten it up. Um, again, once you get it home, if you want to replace the uh, tortilla, that would be, you know, three points instead of seven. So yeah, um, that would bring it down to eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. 
um, or if you didn't have the chips, that would bring it down to 10 points. So again, super flexible. I love Chipotle, not sponsored. I have 26 subscribers, but Chipotle, if you want to sponsor me, hi. The next restaurant we're going to talk about is Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. And it's actually surprisingly the best fast food I can eat on Weight Watchers and have the most success with points and have the biggest variety of things that I can eat there. Um, well, kind of. I mean, it's, it's Chick-fil-A, so you, you're limited to, to chicken regardless. But as far as I could eat pretty much anything on the menu at different, you know, points of the day or depending on different factors. So, um, there's a zero point meal at Chick-fil-A and I do get it often. And that is grilled nuggets. The grilled nuggets are zero points, no matter how many you get. So sometimes I get eight, sometimes I get 12, depends on how hungry I am that day. Um, and a fruit cup. And I love fruit. Obviously, if you've watched any of my what night eat in a day videos, that's pretty obvious. So, um, that is zero points. And of course I get a water to go with it. It is what it is. Now, I don't always get the zero point meal at Chick-fil-A because let's be honest, when you think Chick-fil-A, you do not think, oh, well, their grilled nuggets are so amazing. I just crave them all the time. No, I like their grilled nuggets. Their grilled nuggets are good, but I do not crave grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A often. So, um, regular nuggets, an eight count is seven points and a 12 count is 10 points. So all things considered, not bad. Um, oftentimes and more often than not, when we're eating at Chick-fil-A, I will get an eight count of nuggets and a fruit cup. And then sometimes I get home and my dogs are begging me. So I give each one of them a nugget, which only leaves me six nuggets. Um, and that is five points for six nuggets. So um, that is one of my Chick-fil-A meals. The other Chick-fil-A meal I get sometimes is grilled nugget with a small waffle fry. Um, I'm looking up waffle fry now. Yeah, 10 points for a small waffle fry. Now here's the thing. If you are ordering a meal on the Chick-fil-A app, it only gives you the option for medium and large. And that their small waffle fries are kind of small. And it's a lot of points for a very small meal. So what I do is I order the meal, grilled nuggets, fruit cup, water. That's my meal. I order it in the app that way. And then I get the small nugget, to, or not the small nugget, the small fry um, to go with it. And then I find that the combination of the fries, the fruit, and the nuggets does keep me a little bit more full. And I love it. Your girl is happy. And there have even been times where I got an eight count nugget, a small fry, and water, and then came home, give to my dogs. So for 15 points, I had six Chick-fil-A nuggets and a 10 point waffle fry. So higher in points that way, obviously it's fried chicken and fried potatoes. So it's not gonna be <laughs> super great on points, but sometimes you're just craving like the sodium from Chick-fil-A or the um, like the fast foodness of it all. And when you're doing it, it's just better to eat it and then move on. Um, so that is one. And then when I was sick recently, um, I discovered their chicken noodle soup. It is six points for a bowl or four points for a cup. I always ate the bowl portion because that was my meal. Um, and it was very filling and I like their chicken noodle soup a lot. So if you're sick and you want chicken filet, chicken noodle soup, then I recommend it. It's tasty. And that is it for Chick-fil-A. Fair warning that the next two restaurants are kind of smaller chains. So if you don't have one in your area, sorry. Um, but if you get one in your area, you can always come back to the video and say, what did that girl say she liked from there? Because they're really good restaurants. So the next one I want to talk about is First Watch Cafe. If you've watched 
any of my what I eat in a day videos, you probably already know my go-to meal at the First Watch Cafe, and that is their healthy turkey. So if you don't know, First Watch is a breakfast brunch spot, and the healthy turkey is a egg white omelet with onions, turkey, feta cheese, mm, uh, and tomatoes, and it is so tasty. I inhale that every single time. Uh, it comes with a side. I get the fresh fruit. It also comes with some whole grain toast. I have eaten that exactly one time. It's supposedly artisan multi-grain toast, but it's, it's not that good, um, honestly. So that's why I've only eaten it the one time. But if you eat the toast, that's an additional four points, making it a seven point breakfast. But if you just eat the omelet and the fruit like I do, it's three points and it's so filling and there's so much protein in it and it's so tasty. And I've even tried making that omelet at home. So even if you've watched my videos and you haven't necessarily seen me go to first watch, but you've seen me make that egg white omelet that I always try and make, it's that omelet. That's what I'm trying to recreate. So um, highly recommend the First Watch Cafe Healthy Turkey Omelet. They also have one that's called the Tri-Athlete Omelet. We're getting into the part where I am recommending you things that I have not eaten. Um, but that's because it has mushrooms in it and I don't like mushrooms. So if you like mushrooms, that one is worth trying because it is the, um, the triathlete egg white omelet and it is two points. So that is the first watch. And I saved the best for last, but also the smallest for last. So if you're in North Carolina, South Carolina, or Virginia, and you know what a Biscuitville is, then girl, I got your back. Um, if you are not from us, from those places, um, I apologize in advance. And especially if you used to be from a place that had a Biscuitville and then you moved away and you can no longer get Biscuitville, I apologize for, for bringing it up. But my favorite thing to get at Biscuitville is nine points and it is a bacon, egg, and cheese muffin. I thought I would include that because I haven't looked at how much a bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffin is from like McDonald's or Hardee's or Carl's Jr. or some of the other, or Bojangles, some of the other popular restaurants that are nationwide. Um, but I imagine it can't be that different, right? Like Biscuitville's not doing anything that crazy different um, with their muffins. It's, it's, it is what it is. So it's nine points for a bacon, egg, and cheese muffin and it, it's so good. It has that fried food, that fast food breakfast taste to it. You know what I'm talking about. Bre fast food is the best. It's at its best at breakfast. Um, I eat that one a lot on the weekends. Um, I usually use, I don't usually use my weekly points that often, but when I do, it's almost always on a weekend or a holiday or something like that. And it's because that biscuit filled biscuit is just so good. Um, oh, and we had Chick-fil-A for bre breakfast today. I ended up getting a chicken filet without the biscuit um, and a fruit cup, and that was five points. So I didn't include that when I was talking about Chick-fil-A because I've only got it once, so it's not like a go-to or favorite, but it was pretty filling, and it was good. So there you go. Their breakfast filet with no biscuit is only five points. But we're not talking about Chick-fil-A. We're talking about Biscuitville. And, yeah, that's my go-to. It's bacon, egg, and cheese muffin, nine points. Eat it all the time. It tastes like fried, it just tastes like fried fast food. It, it just doesn't feel like diet food in any way. And it does not, it feels like it should be 30 points, but it's so good. And it's only nine and it's in the app too. So I didn't like miscalculate or anything. Biscuitville is in the Weight Watchers app, which shocked me because they are such a small chain. But apparently us Southern girls like our Biscuitville. <laughs> so we got the menu added to the Weight Watchers app. Um, so yeah, that is that. <laughs> so those are my favorite fast food go-to meals that I have used 
in this journey so far. Um, I just want to be transparent with you guys that I've only been on this journey since Halloween, October 31st, 2022. It is January 7th as we speak. So a little more than two months. Um, so as I am on this journey longer and I acquire more staples or more go-tos, um, I will certainly fill you in. So look for another video like this in a couple more months. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I am so far. Those meals have helped me when I am just one in a hurry and need something fast or two craving fast food, um, or three just being lazy and not, not wanting anything that sounds good in my house. Those are my go-to options that I have. Um, and I hope that they help you. Um, I hope that I've shed some light on some options because I know the first couple times I tried to diet like years ago, I would just, I just assumed like, oh, I can never eat out again. And I definitely can't eat at Chick-fil-A and I certainly can't eat at Chipotle, right? Um, but turns out those are two, those are two of my favorite restaurants and they're two of my easiest places to get good meals from uh, on Weight Watchers. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.